Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdullah Al Kamil, and this is episode two of our Excel training. Uh, we're gonna start first with knowledge refresh from last episode. So the first question is name the data types available in Excel. We have two data types that are really important and we always should keep an eye on. Uh, those data types are number or a text. Okay, the second question is date and time data is represented in Excel as, uh, as we know, both date and time are stored in Excel as numbers. The third question is what is the difference between data type and data format? So the answer to this question uh, needs some explanation, okay? And as we know from the first episode, data type is basically how Excel stores data Data format is how Excel display that data. Uh, data type is limited to two for the most part. Data format is kind of unlimited. You can design whatever format you want your numbers to um, be displayed as, you know. The fourth question is, any date in Excel represents the number of days since a certain date. That date is January 1st, 1900. Um, the final question here is any time in Excel is represented as, so how do we represent or store time in Excel? So the way we store time in Excel, as we have seen in the first episode is by, you know, defining it as a fraction of the day. So basically any time that you pick up in the day is gonna be a fraction of the whole day. So 0.5 is noon, 0.25 is 6 a.m., 0.75 is 6 p.m., so on and so forth, okay? So let's move on to uh, what we're gonna talk about in this uh, episode. So we're gonna talk about a very important concept, and it is at the heart of the data structure concept. Table types, so you, you either gonna be working on a flat table, or a cross table. A flat table is basically, as you can see here, is you know comprised of fields and records. So the information you get, so if you want to read some information from your table, most of the time in a flat table, you will be reading a whole row, okay? And that's why we call them records. So each row here is called a record. So to get the full information, you need to read the whole row, all right? And flat table is basically what you would see in a database, uh, structured database, okay? It's a database table, basically. A cross table, on the other hand, is different a little bit. And as you can see uh, from the illustration here, to get the information or to read this table is basically to cross between a row header and a column header to arrive at a value, a certain value in uh, the cross table. You might hear some different terminologies uh, somewhere else. Um, that doesn't matter. What you need to keep in mind is your understanding of this. And in my you know, experience, any table is either a flat table or a cross table in some way. So to um, elaborate more about uh, flat tables you know, and cross tables, so flat table is basically is comprised of fields, which are columns, you know, when you talk about Excel and records, which are rows. So fields and columns are used interchangeably in Excel. And the same goes for records and rows. So each field, which is a column, must have one data type only. This is very important. So in a flat table, each column will have only one data type. You cannot mix text with numbers when you are meant to do some calculation or summarize you know, aggreg some aggregation on those numbers. Once you put text in there, even one cell, this means that you know all of your data now is text. So um, this is something to keep in mind if you want to create some structured data. And the third thing we have here is always use this, always use this table to store data and especially 
when your data has numbers that you want to summarize later using pivot tables. So a pivot table always, always will have the source as a flat table. So in order to create a pivot table that actually makes sense and can scale over time, the source for that pivot table need to be a flat table, basically a structured database table. On the other hand there, we have the cross table and the cross table is comprised of row headers, column headers and values. So basically to read the cross table, you need a column header, you need a row header and the, you know, the crossing of those two, you will arrive at a certain value in the table. Values represent one data type only. Now, if you look at the cross table, the values that you see there, there should be all, always of one data type only, but all the columns. In a flat table, you can have one column uh, with data type uh, text, and you have the other one, uh, you know, contain all numbers, and that is okay for a flat table. In a cross table, all the values should be a number most of the time because you'd like to kind of uh, get some calculation going. Um, the cross table is usually used to display data because it can summarize a flat table. So basically the cross table is a display for the flat table, which is the source for the cross table. Cross table normally is not used to store data. Most of the time used to display data uh, using pivot tables, okay? And if you use cross table to store data, then most of the time your data is actually text, is it not numbers? Because it is so hard later on to summarize the data that you have, you know, structured in a cross table and stored in a cross table. It's not really easy um, to work with it. So an example of flat table versus cross table. So this table on the left hand side for a flat table basically shows, you know, the name of some cities and the distance between those cities, okay? So you have the home and destination and you have the distance. So from what city to what city and the distance. The cross table here shows a similar structure. Now the question is, are both tables, you know, the same? Do both tables give the same results basically? Uh, because they look different for sure. So there's something we need to kind of uh, test here. So let's take, for example, uh, if we go from uh, Tripoli to Gdamis, so you have 596.5, okay? And if we go here from home, Tripoli to Gdamis, then, oh yeah, we have the same distance. So basically, yes, um, flat table and cross table, basically they give the same information. Okay, so if you, but the difference is, you know, in, in how to read the table. So a flat table, as we said, you need to read the whole row to understand, you know, to get the full information. So we know that going from Tripoli to Gadamis, the distance is 596.5. In a cross table, you need to cross between two uh, headers. So home, which is the uh, row header here, we have Tripoli. And then on the destination, we have Gdamis. Crossing them both together will arrive at this cross section here. Um, and this is where you see the distance. So this is how to read the cross table. Now the question also is, which is easier to look at? Which one is easier to look at and get the information a little bit faster than the other one? Most people will agree that um, cross tables are easier to read and I think it's quite obvious why because it is structured in a way that actually shows you the numbers in a, some sort of a matrix right and uh, you can immediately find out okay what you're looking for okay so this is what I wanted to tell you on this uh, second episode I hope you enjoyed and find it useful thank you so much for listening see you next time